is an overlay of someone called Mr. Jose Camargo. What we were trying to show the court that this is an overlay document. And we wanted to actually show the court where this document from Jose Camargo has come from. The document relating to Jose Camargo has come from the QR register, which is distributed to every polling station. Document is even in the possession of the court. The QR documents are there. So what happened? A PO took an original form 34A, he had the QR register and he took a picture of it. What is the evidence that is being given in this court that someone called Jose Camargo, that if you look at the scrutiny report and if you look at the QR register which is in those boxes, you will actually find the name of Jose Camargo on the register that has been printed. We've also produced the original form 34A. We've come with the receipt. And we're being told that you cannot produce your original 34A that Jose Camargo was interfered. And in fact, if you look at the numbers on the original 34A, it's the same as what the picture of the overlay was taken. So to the question that someone called Jose Camargo was interfering with the portal, it's actually not true. It's incorrect. And the, and the attempt to prevent that evidence to the court is actually, should actually make the, guide the court that actually that is not true. If, why would anyone try to interfere with a, a portal transmitting and the result he has is the same as what's in, what is in the A. We will give the, the court the, the form 34A to compare uh, with the original 34A with the certified copy that the court has. And in fact, we direct the court to the scrutiny uh, documents. That register of opening and closing the KIM is there and the name of Jose Camargo for purposes of audit trail is printed in there. Smartmatic Jose Camargo is printed there. So what has happened? Someone appeal took a